In this video, we're going to explore effective ways to search for people and their records on Fold3. We'll start on the home page with a keyword or name search. A keyword may be a name, place, phrase, or topic. For example, type in Battle of Chickamauga, a critical civil war battle, and you'll discover maps, casualty reports, memorial pages submitted by Fold3 members, and relevant Civil War documents. But since most of us are usually looking for a person, let's return to the home page and perform a name search, where you type in a first and or last name. Both search options, by the way, are expandable, providing you with more ways to define your initial search. Usually, however, it is best to start with a broad search and filter your possibilities after seeing the initial results. I'm interested in finding a man with a common yet famous name, John Adams. We're not looking for either president, but instead a man who fought in the War of 1812. Our search brings us to over 35,000 matches. So let's narrow our search by place. The soldier we're looking for fought for Virginia. As soon as you type two letters in the text box, suggestions appear, including compound place names where one part of the name starts with those letters, in this case VI for Village, Vista, or Virginia. Type more letters to narrow the matches until you find the place you want. Click on it and view the filtered results. Now we have fewer hits, but we are specifically looking for someone in the War of 1812. So let's choose War of 1812 Pension Files. Notice that as soon as we choose a specific title or collection, we are given a number of additional search filters. In the case of War of 1812 pensions, we can narrow by bounty land information, marriage or death dates, and widow's information. The John Adams we're interested in married a woman whose maiden name was Rusk. Let's choose that. And here we have the pension file we're looking for for John Adams and his widow, Phoebe Rusk. Now let's return to the home page and do a different type of search. Fold3 has documents for millions of people online. Sometimes it's not easy to find the person you want because of spelling variations or the use of alternate terms. Click on this search help link to learn ways to improve your chances of finding the right record. Let's explore a couple using the name of a Revolutionary War soldier named Christopher Peake. In this Revolutionary War pay roster, his name is spelled as Christopher P-E-E-C-K. However, on his Revolutionary War pension file, two additional variants are given, Christopher Peake, P-E-E-K, and Christoffel Peake, P-E-A-K. So how do you search for somebody with so many name spelling variations? Let's find out. Remember our search tips box? The tip for finding misspelled or variant words is to use an asterisk as a wildcard in your search where letters may be different. So in our search for Christopher or Christoffel Peake, we want to place an asterisk here after the PH and twice in the last name to allow for variants within and after the surname. Let's see what a search using these wildcard options brings us. We receive 341 hits within 21 titles and matches involving a wide variety of surnames that match our wildcard criteria, including the name Perkins. Makes sense. Let's see what types of results we would have received without using asterisks and searching on only one spelling, P-E-E-K. There are 52 matches, and to find other records, we'd need to try other variants, so the wildcard search is an effective and time-saving strategy. Let's look for one more Christopher Peake document. We already saw his name on a war roll and pension file. Let's see if he has a service record on Fold3. Once again, we're going to use the wildcard search using the asterisk, but this time only within Revolutionary War service records. And yes, there is a service record for Christopher Peake within Colonel Wemple's regiment with yet another spelling variation. We're going to do one more search to show how quotation marks can narrow your results quickly. We're going to start off directly from the title page for Revolutionary War Rolls and search for a man named Ezra Carpenter. We have 73 matches, and while some of the names have Ezra Carpenter as the first and last name of one individual, there are other instances where Ezra is a first name of one person and Carpenter is the last name of another. We can fix that by going back to the keyword and putting quotation marks on either side of the name. This refined search results in only two documents, both specifically for Ezra Carpenter. We hope you'll try these and other search strategies, and may all your searches on Fold3 be rewarding.